Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming over to watch this video. My name is Alan Hernandez from DP Computing. And today guys, in this video, we're going to be doing an overview of the Windows 8 Store application. And inside the store, guys, will work similar to your Android or Apple phone or even your tablet, where you go into the App Store and you're able to navigate through the different applications that they is and then you can install or uh, buy any application that you may find useful for you. Um, the, what we're going to be focusing on today are going to be free applications. I'm going to point out a few uh, for myself while I'm giving you this overview. I'm not going to be purchasing an application, so I just want you to know that. Uh, the installation process though and the navigation part of it works the same way the only thing is when you buy it obviously you're gonna have to enter some type of payment information if you simply install one of the free apps that you'll find you just go ahead and install it so we're gonna show you pretty much how to navigate through the store and at the same time how can we pick a particular app install it and then run it this is going to be a great um, overview and it's going to be very helpful to you uh, if you're trying to uh, get to know Windows 8 a little bit more. So uh, before I dive in, what I want to point out is the difference between an app um, on Windows 8 versus a simple uh, application. The difference on the two is uh, that an app on Windows 8 will run on full screen. It's going to take the entire full view of your screen. It's going to work just like an app on your smartphone, tablet, uh, device, and it basically gives you that experience of a full view versus on a regular application, it just takes the center portion of the screen. I'm going to give you a great example, real quick, what I mean by this. If I go over and, for example, I'm going to open Internet Explorer, right? Where you're going to see if you notice that it's not taking the entire screen. Even though it is, though, it's in full view, but it's not really taking the entire screen. It's kind of hard to explain what I, what I mean unless I show you the difference between this view because it's a regular application. It's the simple one versus the actual app. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Internet Explorer app, okay? So the uh, functionality will be the same thing as far as browsing the internet, going online, things like that. But the view of it, if you look at it now, how it takes the entire screen. It, it fills in the complete resolution of your screen. And you can see the difference between the old one, which is a simple view, versus this one takes the full screen. So. Uh, I think it's a great thing if you want to watch maybe a movie uh, on Netflix, for example. There's a great app uh, for Netflix or, I mean, any app like the Skype app as well. Um, you know, I think that the full screen is a great feature when you're running applications, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pick out a few and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and run them and see how they are. So we'll go ahead and open the store. Um, this is similar to what you will experience with your Android phone, um, with Apple phones, where you go into the App Store and you're going to be able to simply navigate through the different types of apps. For example, the first one that we have here is the Spotlight. This is probably going to be the most used, um, the most recommended apps, um, pretty much the top apps that there is that people rate and enjoy and recommend and as we move down we got the games app all about gaming uh, we have this social section all about social media applications we have the entertainment apps videos Nickelodeon things of that nature uh, we have the photo app pretty much everything to do with photo um, then we have music and video sports uh, books and reference news and weather health and fitness, food and dining. It pretty much has everything you're looking for. Travel, finance, productivity, 
tools, security, business, and the list goes on and on. In this case, it ends with government. So uh, the key here is basically for you to determine which app you're going to need, whether it's for personal use or for me, for example, I'm going to need to get apps that are useful for me for business. You know, I'm not really going to be playing with the computer unless I'm watching a movie or something like that. Besides that, I'm going to be using it mainly for business, especially this computer that I'm on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to navigate over to the social uh, topic, and I'm going to go into top free, and you can also select top paid apps, and then new releases, just like you'll experience with the Android app store and the Apple store you are able to choose from free to paid for and top releases. So on this one, so I'm just going to choose top free because I just want to make sure that I'm looking at free applications. So if we navigate, for example, one of the ones that I think is very useful, and I'm going to see if I already have it or not, I do not know, is Skype. I think it's a great app. And actually, at this moment, I already have this app installed. And actually what I'll do here is I'll run it really quick just to see just the, the, the view of it, the experience in full view versus when you open it through your desktop. And the desktop actually what we hear since I'm going to open this particular app is I'm going to open it from the desktop, okay, and there it is. See the difference? And of course you have the full view, but it's not giving you the actual full view as an app so it just fills in the entire resolution so let's go back to the store here really quick okay and basically what I like to do here is uh, let's see the app store actually I'm, I'm going to need to go to the front and the app is right here Skype so I'm going to run it give it a moment okay should open without a problem. Okay, there it is. Looks like it's bringing me back to the star menu. I apologize for that glitch. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to have to experience a different application. I also have the Netflix one. Um, so if you're going to notice, you see this one works. If I open an app, um, it's going to take the entire screen. So that's one thing that you need to know and determine are you going to go online using the regular browser and view Netflix or any you know whatever you're doing that way or are you going to use the actual app which takes the entire screen so I want you to know that when you are using an application you will experience that full screen okay versus using the browser it's just gonna take part of the screen alright so you need to know the difference on the two. Okay, I'm going to log in really quick just to give you uh, an inside look on, on how it looks once we go in. And if you have Netflix, you can obviously relate to this between the other way, which is using the browser, versus this way with Windows 8. I personally, if I'm going to watch a movie, I'd rather just go through Netflix this way because I'm able to experience a full screen just like if you will be doing this on your TV so it's pretty much comes down to the experience not necessarily the function of it because the function is the same you're still going to be able to browse your movies navigate through the menus um, as you would if you go online uh, but I think that the full view of the app is fantastic so uh, that's a plus. So um, now that you just see what it looks like, you know, I'm just going to pick a movie, for example, this one, just anything. It loads it really quick. And I mean, it's just the experience is just fantastic. And you, some of you will probably agree with me. And some of you may just want to go through the browser. That's fine. Um, one negative side, though, that I thought is a little bit negative when you have it open this way is that I'm not able to just switch over to my browser so someone like me that likes to multitask and I have the browser open for example I can simply open a new tab 
or close the browser and do something else on my computer. Having the full screen app open, um, let me say the other way, having the app open in full screen um, this way, that's it. This is all you, you'll have in front of you. However, though, another way to switch over is if you click on the start button on your keyboard, you can simply switch over to the star menu and then bring it down to the desktop and then from there uh, basically you know take over your uh, your different tabs whatever else you have open and then given time you want to go back to the app simply press the start menu and then open whatever application you had which is Netflix uh, one thing that I was mentioning to you in some of the videos I made before on the start menu is that um, I can easily move my mouse over all the way to the left and switch between applications like right now if you see that I have Netflix open so watch what happens it takes me straight to it if I switch it over I can switch over to the desktop and so forth Skype make sense and then if I just go and move my mouse to the to the left center portion of it not all the way to the top left corner but to the actual center uh, I'm sorry we go all the way top and then move the mouse down just like you see me do and then now you can see all the apps and windows that are open and this is pretty much the way that you're going to be able to switch around between different applications so for example I have Netflix open in full screen I can move my mouse over to the top left move down and then obviously switch from here and there it is you got it all right, so let's go back to the uh, store. We're going to go ahead and navigate around and look for other things. Another great thing, obviously, uh, let me go back to the, uh, to the screen here. Just like you would be able to do on your tablet and on your phone, is that you can preview these applications right from here, share your experience. The fact that it crashed on me, and we just experienced that, that the Skype app wasn't even opening application did not open I had a bad experience opening the app when I tried to use it okay so I'm just going to share my thoughts all right and then submit that pretty much it's done see that all right, so let's go back to the store and look through the different applications. So if you notice that the view is going to be the same regarding, regardless if you go into the social topic or any of the other topics, I'll show you really quick. If I go over to productivity, which is another one that's going to be um, very helpful to you if you're running this for business. All right, top three. And then you're going to see that the list is going to be the same, which is great. All right, so if we look through the list, obviously, you'll see the different apps that there are uh, that you can choose from. So what I like to do just to be able to pick one and show you how simple this is, SkyDrive, for example. I have a SkyDrive account, so if I want to open it this way versus through the browser, um, I can also do it this way. So I'm going to see if I can experience it. And it actually looks like this already came with Windows. If I can actually, I remember that. Uh, let's see, Skype Drive. Yep. So that's part of Windows, obviously. So it came with it. I don't need to install it. So let's look for something else. This is so easy, but at the same time, it's so helpful. Um, you, you're able to do so much with the application. Let's see. Look through the list. I might not be able to find anything really. Toolbox for Windows 8. Oh, look at this Evernote. I also have Evernote and I use it. So there it is. This is a great uh, application. I have the desktop version of it. Uh, if I take you over to my desktop, okay, there it is. See? So I have the desktop version of it, which again is still in full view. It looks okay, and I can easily just close it and I'm right on the desktop. However, if you're one of those like me that like to see things in full view, uh, the app would be a fantastic option. So we're going to install it. 
look watch how simple this is it's letting you know on the top if you see the little dots it's letting you know that it's installing the app Let's see what happened it took me out of it looks like it installed it already so anytime you want to access your apps all your apps should be on your star menu okay and it looks like it is I'm gonna actually it's pending so it looks like it's downloading I'm gonna bring it over to the big apps on the left and you notice what I just do right uh, anytime you install a new program or an app it's going to automatically uh, position that icon basically all the way to the right but you notice how I was able to easily just move it over uh, this way like for example you see this full apps right here uh, let me close this one for example Hold on. okay so you notice how I have these little small ones really quick let me say this that these small icons are not apps they are just programs apps would most likely have most of the time for what I have noticed so far is a bigger icon just kinda you know separates the two and also lets you know that these small icon ones are programs you have installed but then these big ones are actual apps for Windows 8. Alright, so watch how I'm going to just easily drag this over so I can put all my big ones on the same list. And there it is. See that? Bring all the big ones. And I can just e even go like this if I want. I mean, this, you, you can organize it your way. Uh, this is another great thing about the uh, star menu. Uh, I think they've done a great job with the animation of the star screen. So again, let's uh, open the Evernote app. There it is. So that's the only difference really, guys, is the, the full view of it is what gives you that experience. Uh, the fact that you're going to have hundreds, uh, even thousands probably, of different applications that you can install for different things, uh, whether it's health or productivity or social media or news, entertainment, music, video. Uh, now you have the option to basically have a full functional uh, integrated application from any type uh, right on your Windows 8 and this wasn't available with Windows 7 XP Vista um, this was only available with smartphones and tablets so if if you were able to have a great experience with which I had ever since I had a smartphone and I still have a great experience Imagine now bringing that ability uh, and that option over to Windows 8. Just the fact that you're able to browse any app, okay, install it and run it in a full view like this and, and, and experience that on your computer is a plus. So let's go ahead and sign in really quick. This should be an easy one. Hopefully I don't get lost in this uh, sign up process. Uh, so let's go ahead and, you know, I should be able to remember my information and should not be a problem. So watch. It's going to log in and basically take me inside my account in full view, which is fantastic. So, I mean, the application, I think, uh, is great when using the store. I just think that um, the, the function of it and the experience of it is great. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick overview, um, you know, take you around the different options, how simple it is to choose from any topic you're looking for. Uh, and once you find what you're looking uh, for, then simply go into either top free, top paid, or new releases. And that's it. And once you go inside, then you can choose which application you want. Let's try... Uh, one more and we're going to end this video. I'm going to do top free for the social part of it. Um, I'm on social media all the time so it's great. Look, stumble upon. I also have an account with the social network. Um, let, me, let me point out something really quick now that I just thought of this to give you a little bit more knowledge uh, in regard to something that I noticed uh, ever since I started using the store uh, option and that is that you want to try to focus especially with free applications and with some of the paid ones too but if I'm going this is just me I'm going to give you my opinion but you do it your way 
If I'm going to install an application, I want to make sure that it's coming from the actual company. So the, the application that you install and has been tested is, is fully functional. It works fantastic. Uh, I was very sad with the Skype experience why it didn't open. It opened uh, for me last time I tried to open it. I do not know why it did not open now. But uh, Skype came from Skype. So it should have worked. I'm going to look into that. However, why I'm saying this is because, like I just said, with the Skype uh, application, now with the StumbleUpon app that we're going to install, and also the Evernote, you you can notice that the name, okay, now this is why I'm pointing this out, you can see that the name is the actual company name. However, though, with these other apps, look at the difference here, pay attention, Facebook Lite, see this? Facebook Friends Plus, you see how it has a name or word after the app? So that just lets you know that it's not the original Facebook app because only Facebook, only Skype, and only Evernote, etc., can use that trademark. You know, that name is, is owned by those companies. So if you're creating an application, for example, for Facebook, you have to name it something like, watch this feed for Facebook, Facebook friends, Facebook light, not just Facebook. That makes sense? Facebook touch. You see that? So uh, there's something to consider when you are looking through the different applications you want to get. I'd rather focus on the ones that are an actual company, someone that's well known, not just any application. And why I'm saying that is because some of the free applications that you'll get if if they are not from an actual company a corporation a legit company they're going to be advertising just like you probably seen on your smartphone or on your tablet how you're using a free app and there are the advertisements around it and ask you to buy to remove the ads and it just gets a little bit annoying after a while but I'm sure that if I'm using the you know, stumble upon, for example, I'm going to click on here and then install it. There's not going to be no advertising because I'm using an app from an actual company. It's very simple. Okay. So I just wanted to give you guys that quick overview, uh, give you some knowledge and some pointers on the Windows 8 store uh, feature. If you have any questions, guys, feel more than welcome to uh, come over to our website. I'm actually going to take you there now really quick and um, we'll love to answer any of your questions okay take you over to our website give me just a moment okay that's going to be dp.computing.com dot a you. Uh, we are located in South Australia, uh, just so that you know. If you have a particular question or you need help with your computer, uh, we'd love to help you. Uh, so let me go ahead and go over to the website here. Okay, so this is our website, and that's our phone number on the very top, so you're more than welcome to give us a call. Uh, we're going to be creating additional videos in the future, so if you're watching this video, feel free to comment, share your thoughts, and um, we'd like to get back and uh, share with you as well and reply to those questions. I hope that this video was very helpful to you. I hope it gave you some uh, pointers on the Windows 8 store, and we also cover a few uh, things on the Start menu as well. So I figure since I was there, why not give you a little bit of uh, what was on my mind uh, when I was doing that. So again, guys, I would like to say thank you for your time and for watching this video. And um, again, this is Alan Hernandez from DP Computing. And I look forward to uh, creating more videos in the future. Take care and have a good one.